Welcome to the Verity Voting System Polling Place Training for Verity TouchRider. The Verity Voting System includes several different polling place devices. The number and type of devices used at each polling place may vary. In this video, you will learn about the Verity TouchRider ballot marking device. Each Verity device is contained in an integrated case. The device case includes a label that identifies the type of device. The Verity TouchRider has a red A label and a black W label. Verity TouchRider. Verity TouchRider is an accessible ballot marking device. Once a voter has finished voting and reviewed their choices, they will then print a paper ballot marked with their choices from the attached printer. The voter then retrieves and casts the ballot, either using Verity Scan or into a ballot box to be processed centrally. Voters may make their ballot selections with TouchRider using either the touchscreen or using Verity Access. Verity Access is an audio tactile interface, or ATI, intended for voters that cannot or prefer not to use the touchscreen. Verity Access includes two connection ports. The left connection port is for headphones, while the right connection port is for any dual switch input device, such as tactile switches or sip and puff devices. Setting up the ballot printer. Set up the table for your ballot printer and set the ballot printer on the table. Plug the square end of the USB printer cable into the printer. The flat end will be plugged into the Verity TouchWriter. Insert the printer power cord into the printer and the other end into a power outlet. Load the ballot printer with appropriate ballot paper for your election. Do not power on the printer at this time. Setting up the voting booth. The Verity TouchRider booth comes in a fabric transport bag. Remove booth parts from the transport bag. A complete set of booth parts includes the booth table, rear leg assembly, front leg extensions, and privacy screens. Release bungee cords holding the booth legs if present. Unfold the legs from the booth table. Pull on the handle and lift to lock the legs into place. Attach the front leg extensions. Press the metal buttons to attach each leg and lock them into place. Attach the rear leg assembly. Press the metal buttons to attach and lock into place. Turn the booth over to set up the Verity Touch Rider. Setting up the Verity Touch Rider. Set the Verity Touch Rider on top of the booth, aligning foot pads with the indentations. The handle on the front of the Touch Rider should face the same direction as the handle on the booth. Stand at the front of the booth. Reach under the front of the booth top and push the latch away from you to secure the Touch Rider to the booth. Open the case and remove the power brick and power cord from the storage compartment. Close the compartment and case. Plug the power cord into the power brick, and then plug the power brick into the back of the Verity Touch Rider, flat side up. Plug the flat end of the USB printer cable from the ballot printer into the back of the Verity Touch Rider, with the notch facing up. Open the Verity Touch Rider case and lock the lid brace in place. Unlock. Unlatch and remove the tablet. Seat the tablet into the cradle. Tilt it back and then lock it into place. 
Attach privacy screens to both sides of the booth. Verify the tamper seal on the locked compartment above the printer. Plug the power cord into AC power. A green light should illuminate on the power brick when AC power is present. Now press the switch. On the bottom right side of the ballot printer to power it on. Now power on the Verity TouchRider by pressing the red button on the back of the device. If your jurisdiction uses the auto ballot barcode reader, wait until the TouchRider finishes powering up and displays the Print Zero Report screen. Then, connect the auto ballot barcode reader to the USB connection located on the locked compartment above the report printer. Connect headphones to the Verity Access Controller. Plug the headphones into the headphone port on the top left of Verity Access. The port on the top right of the Verity Access may be used for optional tactile switches, sip and puff, or any other dual switch input device. Opening the poles. To open poles, first check the battery and AC power indicators on the screen and confirm that you are running on AC power. Select Print Zero Report. Check the zero report. On the screen, check the ballot or sheet count and the date and time. Select Open the Polls. Enter the Open Polls code and then select Accept. The Open Polls report will print. File the zero and Open Polls reports according to local guidelines. When the device is ready to be used for marking ballots, the Ready for Use screen will display. 